it's the, the search for perfection which makes it divine and a masterpiece. We're able to mix, we're able to mix sounds and attach our souls to it and share that with each other and then present that to other people. My gosh, it's just a dream team. So I couldn't be happier to be a part of it, really. There's so many great musicians here that it makes it easy to record. I don't want to paraphrase Nietzsche, or I could paraphrase him and say that, you know, a life without music would be a mistake. Uh, for me, it sure would be. It's like I define myself with music. I'm thinking to myself, okay, this lady is magnificent, you know, and, and she deserves to be heard, which leads me to why I'm involved in this project, is because I believe Marina Pakoski deserves to be heard by a wide audience. <laughs> We met at the International Society of Bassists convention, which really blew my mind because here you are, this fabulous piano player, hanging out with bass players. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, you, you show that you have good taste. I guess we met at the, uh, at the Lighthouse, right? Absolutely. That's when I found out you were a pianist too. Yes, you were right when we did the Pasadena. Yeah, I you were playing piano. piano. That's what I, I thought you were playing the piano. We met at the uh, L.A. Athletic Club, downtown L.A., and you came down because we had uh, guest singers coming in up on stage every, uh, every, uh, every week. And then we found out later that you were a piano player, and not only a piano player, but a great piano player. Is that my symbol? Okay, good, good. And the special thing about her is she's not just a singer, she's a vocal musician. It's rarely that I see someone, uh, a vocalist, that really knows, understands the inner workings of a song. You know, music is part science and math, but then also creativity. You have to do it in a creati creative way, and so if I'm using you know, technical terminology, I, I mean it in the, the most uh, heartfelt manner. <laughs> it's, uh, these, are, these are all, comp, you know, complementary terms um, about uh, what she does. So she's thinking, she's processing, she's doing all this stuff, but then she's also feeling and imagining and uh, dreaming and, and putting forth her creative vision in uh, an in, in, in instantaneous and spontaneous way. When I practice music, it guides me into a meditative way. When you really go into music, and I had some students, actually adult students, telling me I'm going through depression and it's hard during this pandemic. And I would tell them, just go to your piano, practice, slowly put a metronome, increase your speed, try left hand, right hand, put together. It takes so much focus. Technically speaking, you have no time for inner wondering, questioning your place on earth, you know. Here's someone who's classically trained and a virtuoso on the instrument and kind of frightening to, to pair it up with uh, her vocal predilections. I knew that I wasn't just viewing someone who was learning something by rote. I knew that I was seeing someone who understood what was going on musically uh, within these solos. One of the best things about great musicians is that their instruments are good. So uh, I don't have to worry about EQing or fixing something or trying to make something work. You know, all I do is just mic and push the button and go take a nap. <laughs>
Marina's thing is besides her ability to just play so beautifully and musically and have this, you know, classical touch to her piano playing when she needs it and, and this really, really expressive nature. Uh, it, it's, you know, her distinct sound, her choice of notes, the choice of uh, phrasing with, um, you know, her vocal melodies and, and her, uh, all, all the little things that, you know, the little nuances that she throws in as, as part of her performance. And it just it appears to come quite naturally to her. And, uh, you know, unlike a composer person like myself, I like to sit down and <laughs> write everything out note for note and, 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 and fix a form and make it very detailed that way. Uh, but Marina just, uh, it, it seems like it's effortless and it's all sincere. I was honored to be to be asked to to add a, a tune that was just something out of a conversation, and I said, Gee, you know, I got one tune that I've always loved, and, uh, and you do well with with it. It's called My Foolish Heart. The night is like a lovely tune. So she jumped right on it to, uh, and got got the music got the lyrics and began woodshedding my foolish heart and uh, and i began to formulate a an arrangement take care my foolish heart there's a So here's this package, this marina package of uh, unbounded, you know, gifted talent. For they both give the very same sensation. And I'm, I'm very happy to have been asked to add my little observation of that too. Hearing improvising singers that really know what's going on when they're improvising is is not that common um and so it really is a true pleasure um to to see someone not just that understands the chord changes and and, and how to deliver uh, a solo um but also that it has kind of an intrepid spirit and is willing to uh, try challenging things and you know uh put put herself out there and and um you know do do some things that maybe haven't been heard before happy when she she first contacted me and said you know I'd like to perform your father's song Pensativa you know I got her a lead sheet and then I, I sat with her and I showed her some of the voicings that my dad actually used when he played the song so she has got you know this version of Pensativa that is, uh, you know, out of all the different arrangements of Pensativa that have been done over the years, there are, a lot of them are really great. Not that many of them are, are really closely following kind of the, the, uh, the Claire Fisher style of putting it together. Totally happy to be here as well, and a great project. Uh, really interesting material that you chose, and an incredible band of just some of the legendary uh, musicians on the LA jazz scene. It's just the chance to expand the family, you know, the musical family, getting to know you. You're excited about music, therefore, I want to be a part of your excitement.
Yeah, I loved it. I loved the first one and I loved the second one. I loved your choice of tunes were really nice tunes. You know, the tunes that, the, the rhythm section and, the, and the, you know, we can swing to. You know, just go ahead and put some fire under you. So that's, that's really nice. You know? <laughs> Marina, you, you sounded great too, you know, I guess being around all the greatness, it emerges with your greatness and so it, it makes the project very good, very, uh, uh, oh gee, I don't know what the word is, and everybody uses fantastic and stuff too, too often, but it, it's really a great, a great uh, merge of, of, of great musical talent and musical minds. And I can't wait for people to hear this project when it's finished. And I'm honored to be part of it. Thank you for having me. I, I can't wait to finally finalize it and to um, make the audience hear this, this music. We have a um, great choice of material, I think, with uh, some eclectic things, uh, some modern things. And um, I'm, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> so. Uh, yes, I hope uh, everyone will, will enjoy as we enjoyed recording it. Thank you so much, Marina. You, you are a treasure, girl. Yeah. <laughs>